Hello and welcome back to NextMind. The world of artificial intelligence, AI, is on the brink of a significant shift with the upcoming release of GPT-5, which could arrive as soon as 2024. This new AI model is expected to bring about a host of enhancements that will have a profound impact on startups. Sam Altman, a prominent figure in the tech industry and CEO of OpenAI, has shed light on the improvements we can anticipate, such as better reasoning, more reliable outputs, and greater personalization. Let's watch what he and Bill Gates did in the recent interview. There's the chance of this system taking control, and for some reasons I'm, I'm less concerned about that. I'm glad other people are. The one that that sort of befuddles me is human purpose. When the machine says to me, Bill, go play pickleball. I've got malaria eradication. You're just a slow thinker. Then, you know, it is a philosophically confusing thing and how you organize society. Yes, we're going to improve education, but education to do what? There's a lot of psychologically difficult parts of working on the technology, but this is the, for me, the most difficult. Because I also yeah, like, you get a lot real of satisfaction <laughs> from that. And it's like, in some real sense, this might be like the last hard thing I ever do. Well, our, our minds are so organized around scarcity, scarcity of teachers and yeah. doctors and good ideas. I do wonder if a generation that grows up without that scarcity will find the philosophical notion of how to organize society and what to do. Maybe they'll come up with a solution. And I, I'm afraid my mind is so shaped around scarcity, I, I even have a hard time thinking of it. If we can get into this world of post-scarcity, we will find new things to do. They'll feel very different. But I think the only way out is through. We just have to go do this thing. It's going to happen. This is like now an unstoppable technological course. The value is too great. And I'm pretty confident, very confident, we'll make it work. But it does feel like it's going to all be so different. Yeah, I think if it comes across as asking for a slowdown, that'll be really hard. If it is instead says, OK, do what you want. But any compute cluster above a certain extremely high power threshold, and given the cost here, we're talking maybe five in the world, something like that, any cluster like that has got to submit to the equivalent of international weapons inspectors. And the model there has to be made available for safety audit, pass some tests during training and before deployment. That feels possible to me. I wasn't that sure before, but I did a big trip around the world this year, talked to heads of state in many of the countries that would need to participate in this. And there was like almost universal support for it. Right now, I guess the we're looking at a lot of productivity improvement from AI, which you know, that's overwhelmingly a very good thing. Which areas are you most excited about? Yeah. So first of all, I always think it's worth remembering that we're just sort of on this long, continuous curve. Um, so like right now we have an, we have AI systems that can do tasks. They certainly can't do jobs, but they can do tasks and there's productivity gain there. Eventually they'll be able to do more things that we think of like a job today. Um, and we'll of course find new jobs and better jobs. And I totally believe that if you give people way more powerful tools. It's not just they can work a little faster, they can do qualitatively different things. And so, you know, right now, maybe we can speed up a programmer 3x. It's about what we see. I mean, that's one of the categories that we're most excited about. It's working super well. But if you make a programmer three times more effective, it's not just that they can write, they can do three times more stuff. It's that they can, at that higher level of abstraction, using more of their brain power. ChatGPT5 is expected to launch this summer. And what are its mind-blowing features? Imagine an AI that can not only answer simple questions, but also understand and tackle complex problems with nuanced and precise responses. This is what GPT-5 promises with its improved reasoning abilities. For startups that rely on AI to perform essential tasks and make important decisions, this could be a game changer. The ability to process intricate queries accurately will be invaluable, helping these companies to make smarter, data-driven decisions. Reliability in AI is becoming increasingly important as these technologies become more integrated into everyday business operations. ChatGPT5 is set to enhance this aspect by producing results that are consistent and can be trusted. For startups, which often operate with limited resources and cannot afford the unpredictability of current AI systems, this could mean a significant reduction in risk. Personalization is another area where GPT5 is expected to excel. Startups will be able to customize AI tools to fit their unique needs, leading to a more intuitive experience for users. By incorporating personal data, AI will be able to offer interactions that feel more tailored and user-friendly, potentially making technology more approachable for a wider audience. 
GPT-5 is anticipated to introduce multimodal capabilities, which include sophisticated speech and image processing. This will enable startups to create innovative products and services that can interact with users in multiple ways, possibly leading to higher user engagement and expanding their market reach. The strategic implications for startups are substantial. With GPT-5's enhanced contextual understanding, startups can develop solutions that are not only behaviorally optimized, but also contextually aware, allowing them to stand out in competitive markets. Furthermore, the expected decrease in API costs with GPT-5 will make AI more affordable and accessible to a broader range of businesses. This democratization of AI technology could even the playing field, giving smaller startups a better chance to compete against larger companies. To prepare for GPT-5, startups should focus on creating services that cater to non-coders and offer software solutions for those who do code. By solving specific niche problems and targeting markets that are less likely to be disrupted by AI, startups can set themselves up for success in an AI-centric future. It's crucial for startups to stay up to date with AI advancements to keep their competitive edge. By keeping informed, they can adjust to the changing AI landscape and shift their strategies to make the most of the new opportunities that technologies like GPT-5 will bring. The anticipated improvement announced by Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI and GPT-5, are expected to usher in a new era of AI capabilities. Startups need to be proactive in understanding how these advancements will affect them and be prepared to innovate and adapt. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for much more exciting content. Let's build this AI community together.